No, for us, honestly, it is just another game. There's so much uh, experience in the squad that we've all had massive games before and we're just taking it bit by bit. And what has been the discussion in the last couple of days, even among yourselves, as well as in the team meetings, where regards where you want to improve, what you want to do uh, a little bit better, what you have to do to beat England? Yeah, well, after every game, there's always improvements, but we have been learning every game. So um, for us, it's just... In implementing a plan that we need to go forward into into the England game and and obviously Scotland was was a, a, a different test and and we've we've learned a lot from from the things that we've we did in that game and and did wrong and and hopefully we can improve on them on on the weekend. You've come up against some people you're familiar with um, from the Lions tours and obviously playing against the club and country. Does that make any great difference? Does that have any kind of effect on this game, especially given that it's such a big game? Um, I suppose knowing your enemy is always good as well so we would have uh, been in close quarters with a lot of the guys for a long space of time um, over in New Zealand so yeah we it, it, it's good to know them and they know us as well so it's uh, it's going to make for interesting uh, an interesting game and battle in, in certain areas of the game. Jack, is there an element of trying to second guess spotting the selection you're going to face at the weekend? Obviously a couple of back rowers are not going to feature given how they've gone the last two games, there are probably going to be changes for the game. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, I think the guys they, they have such depth there <clears throat> now that anyone they bring it, bring in fits in seamlessly. And Eddie Jones has he he always brings in a big squad, and and they're always training together similar to ourselves. So um, I don't think there'll be any drop off, and guys that are coming in will be chomping at the bit to to make an impression. So um, I wouldn't I wouldn't read into guys they don't have it's just about us looking into guys that they do have that we may necessarily not know a whole lot mo about yeah, sure there's a lot of talk about what's likely to come from England what's likely to come from Ireland you know, what do you think you're going to need to produce over there to get across the line I think we'll need a, a, a near perfect performance um, they haven't lost in Twickenham under Eddie Jones we haven't won there in a long time we're going to be have to be massively disciplined um, like just it's 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 going to be tight and I think in uh, certain times in the game it's going to be like a white hot cauldron and, and it's whoever's going to be able to keep their cool as it will, will get over the line I, I, I think you've played in many, many big games, is there something you can actually work on in keeping that clarity of thought? You know, what's done here with Enda and uh, the backroom team to actually improve on that game? I think knowing the guys around you is a massive thing and, and going into the game having done everything that you can do that you can just concentrate on it's it's second nature what you're doing so you're just you're just fitting in and you're you know the guys around you and you can trust them and and there's been a lot of guy, games that have been tight and guys have have trusted each other and and we've gotten through it so and it's it's that's how we've built and it's been it's been enjoyable to be a part of it you know, you talk about just being another game, but is there anything you do personally to, to cope with kind of pre-game nerves and, and that tension that will naturally build? No, um, I've I've tried to sort of recently enough try to enjoy the game or enjoy the day of the game a little bit more because um, you can get a little bit too stressed out and and uh, burn energy that you, that you may need towards the end of the game. So just for me, I try and take in the atmosphere and, and enjoy it and, and switch on when you need to switch on, but um, just take in a lot of the, the atmosphere and, and realise how lucky you are to be where you are. And, and um, yeah, I suppose the main thing is just enjoying, enjoying myself. Jack, what, has been the, what have been the key messages Joshua has been giving you this week? Um, it's still early in the week. We, we, um, we have we had a good training session today. Um, we're, as I said, there we're we're gonna pretty much nearly have to have the perfect game against these guys because they are they're <clears throat> they're unbelievably disciplined in defence and their attack is sharp. So for us on both sides of the ball, we need to be really um, tuned in.
have you switched or changed your all trilogy routine in, in any way? Not just the fact that it's a grand slam, but the fact that it's the final game of the championship. You know, have you been able to do that full training or have you tapered things a little bit just to make sure you're fully fresh for, for this weekend? Um, there was a few sore bodies yesterday, so we um, we did our weights and then we came in and, and we just had a walk through yesterday and then we trained fully today, so everyone's flying fit. So um, it was a little bit tapered just because of the the attritional nature of the game on Saturday and, and um, again for us you, you don't want that much change in a, on a week like this you want a lot of repetition and, and what we have been doing has been working for us so keeping it in, in that way is, is good for us. Those walk trips can be incredibly valuable at that stage as well because at Tampa it's not just a case of you know stretching your legs it's, it's, your, it's reaffirming your roles and, and uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you do. You have to be switched on. It's not just coming in and and kind of going through um, <clears throat> it like sort of going through the motions. You have to be switched on, and and it is. It's a mass, massive thing for us is being able to get those gains without actually being on the pitch. So um, yeah, it's 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 something we we do, and and um, it, it works really well for us as a squad. You say you have to have a near perfect game. How far off do you think you've been in the last four games? And you've managed to win it, but you haven't always been incredibly impressive over eight minutes. Yeah, um, I think every game, every team that we're coming up against now poses different threats, and um, we are trying to go into those games and, and nullify those threats. But it's uh, it's it's rugby is a imperfect game, and and uh, I suppose you do try and get the perfect game, and it's not always it's not always possible. But you, it's it's about doing your work during the week and and uh, knowing your stuff and going into the game, and, and as many people that can do that, I think that gets us. Close closer to a, a, a perfect game if, if it's possible. So you said it's also just another game. Emotion can still have a massive impact in this game despite all the process. Whereas last year when England came over they thought just another game. They were unbeaten, massive favourites and the emotion took Ireland to win. So do you need a little bit more to, to counter their emotion that will never be Um I don't think there's ever lack of emotion in an Ireland England game, especially on Paddy's Day and in Twickenham. So um, I think that will take t- take care of itself. So um, it's just for us is the main thing is to get our own roles right and and be comfortable with what we're doing during the week and and build slowly but surely and not not um, play the game by Tuesday and uh, sort of be left wanting on Saturday. Matt Williams said after the game on Saturday that it's it's very boring. It's not not been a joy to watch. Do you give it down? I don't listen to people like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't hear that. Um, he can say what he wants. I don't really care. Remember your first time watching an Ireland game? Um, I think the one that sticks out is probably Shane Horgan. I'm not sure year, what year that was, but Shane Horgan scoring in the corner uh, to win the triple crown. That that sticks out. What's your memories of the All-Night Slam, Doug? Remember where you watched it? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, 20s, yeah. I think we were actually on for a Grand Slam and Scotland beat us. Uh, and, yeah, it was... I can't remember. I, I remember the, the Wales game. I can't remember where I was watching it, though. Jack, um, in terms of... Um, obviously, you said everyone's fit, so Kean's fit. I know how much of a boost is that, obviously... I'm sure you'd love to start the game, but you need, you know, these days with the with the front rows where everyone's, you know, even if you're on the bench, you probably play half an hour. You, you kind of, it's going to be a boost to these up both of you. Yeah, it is, and I think um, when it's getting to this stage, and guys are obviously going to have knocks, but everyone wants to train and and put out their their best foot forward and put their hand up for selection. So it's. Um, yeah, it's great to have top quality players out there training against each other because we're always trying to push each other to another level and it's going to be no different this week. You, you two are basically kind of almost, you know, there's hardly anything to choose between you, isn't there? You, you were ahead of him for a bit and he's come back a bit. Does it make you a better player to have... I think so, yeah. Having, well, I wouldn't say rivalry, but um, a bit of comp- competition is always good because you do have to 
up your game at all times and and if you if you're a little bit off the mark they they go ahead of you and it's it's tit for tat and it's um yeah it's it's been like this for a few years and we're sort of used to the go to's and fro's so it's it is what it is but I, I think either one of us that starts brings the same and either one of us that comes on brings the same and there's no drop off of quality and uh yeah, it's 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 great to to have that and have that trust um, put in you that you can start or or be on the bench and there's no drop off.